This link right here will show you which internet safety curriculum you should be teaching. Once you click on this link, it will open up into a Google Sheet. You'll see over here it's listed from kindergarten all the way up until 12th grade, and it has three lessons each. To access these lessons, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this link here, the District Nearpod Library Digital Citizenship, and it's going to open up in here. Once you're logged in, you're going to add these to your Nearpod library. So I'm going to click on kindergarten and I'm going to click on kindergarten again. Now you'll notice some of these have both English and Spanish. So I'm going to add this to my lesson. I'm also going to add the Spanish version as well. Now I'm going to go over here on the left hand side and click on my lessons. My recommendation is that you create a folder called Internet Safety. To do this, you're going to click on this plus folder, you're going to name the folder, and then you're going to click Create. To move items into that folder, you're going to click and drag into that folder. You can also click on these three dots and you can say Add to Folder and I'm going to choose the Internet Safety. And I'm going to say Add Lessons. Now when I go into the Internet Safety, I can see both my English and Spanish lesson in here. To launch a live lesson, you're going to click Live Participation. Once you click Live Participation, you'll notice that a code is displayed to your students. You can copy a link and post it on Schoology. If you're using GoGuardian, you can copy this link and you can push it out to your students, or you can tell students to join at nearpod.com and type in the code that is displayed on your screen. Another way that you can post the link for the students is you can create a warm-up activity on Schoology. For this, I created a discussion board. And here, I added the link as well as the code. You can also add the link down here by pasting the link and giving it a title and then click Save Changes. And you'll notice that the link is posted on Schoology as well.